What's up, Trainiacs? So uh, here we are, heading to South Africa. Now, rather than make you follow me around from airport to airport with a whole bunch of time lapses and just talking about South Africa, I polled you on Instagram stories. We're gonna answer as many questions as we can in under, let's go with eight minutes. That's always a good video. All right, see you in the air. One flight down, and we have about two hours until I got a flight to London. First question, how often do you do a bike run brick workout? As often as I can, probably twice a week on average. Next question, at some point, do you think you will want to train for a full Ironman? I already do. Just need the time for it. Would you rather swim as fast as you can run or would you rather fly for as long as you could hold your breath? Swim as fast as I could run. When everything. Doesn't matter how untalented I am at biking and running. All right, seven and a half hour flight down. We are in London. Pit pit, cheerio. Next question. Any tips on how to lower my heart rate? Yes. YouTube search triathlon Terran Maffetone method training triathlon Terran nasal breathing, and triathlon Terran heat training. All right, so I have successfully showered, brushed my teeth, pretty myself up, just have to go from London to Johannesburg. And the next question is, any favorite travel tips? Yes, I'm just doing it right now. I found out that once you add up the free baggage, the free meals, the free coffees, the downtime, upgrading to first class, actually paying for it, like straight up cash money out of your pocket, is actually not that much more expensive and it is a way better experience. I hate travel. This makes it borderline tolerable. Now then that relates to another question. Do I make a full-time living at Just Triathlon Terran? Short answer, yes. Long answer, no. I could make a good living, but I want it to be around for a lot longer than just a vlog. So we got to turn it into a business and for that, can't afford it just yet. We have to supplement with other things. Best and worst thing about travel, best thing for my job, getting to go and hang out with really cool triathletes at triathlons. Worst thing about travel, flying. I don't like people in my bubble and I am not very patient. Two things that surround travel. Most favorite race I've ever done, I would say the Birds Hill Olympic try that I started off the year with because it was close enough packed that there were a fair bit of tactics. I wasn't just racing myself, like I was actually racing the other racers. That was a lot of fun. Choice of headphones while traveling, the Bose QC35s. There's a new model that came out, I think in 2017 or 2018. Don't bother with those. Save yourself some money, get the three years ago model, same thing. Holy crap, Heathrow is huge. Next question, disc brakes on TT bikes? Yes, disc brakes on all bikes eventually. That's my gate. Big plane, huge plane, double decker. Next question, if I wasn't doing triathlons, what sport would I practice? Used to be a professional curler, probably be curling. I actually know the guys that are the US Olympic gold medalists. I think I was undefeated against them. What is my sprint PB? 107.53. Well, technically this is morning again, Trainiacs. In Johannesburg it is at least. Body says it's about 12.30 at night. How many hours a week do I train? Low of seven, high of 15. While well, we wait here at oversized baggage for the bikes, how much do I train on a road bike versus a tri bike? Probably more on the road bike overall over the course of a year? Be close. Listen to the podcast we do with Matt Steinmetz about how to adjust and how frequently you should ride a tri bike. It's late. So we gotta get through security here in Johannesburg for the last flight right at the last minute because I have valuables, like all the electronics in my suitcase. They recommended checking it right at the last minute. So we gotta hurry. Are we gonna be in Kona? Yes. What is my strongest discipline? The bike. And how often do I do an endurance bike ride once a week? Next question, do I find it difficult to separate work from my enjoyment in the sport? No, I love this sport. 
so it doesn't really feel like work. And I've always been somebody who the more time I was able to do something, the more I enjoyed it because the more progress I made, I could focus on it, do it properly. I stop enjoying when it gets scattered. Gotta go. Favorite go-to travel snack? Apples. They pack well, they've got their own wrapper, they're handheld, they deal well, get knocked around in a bag, perfect. Oh. Favorite, ooh, look at that, matchy matchy. Favorite podcast for us to perform? Let me look back. Triathlon, Terran podcast. Oh, would you look at that? It's the most highly rated triathlon podcast on iTunes. Who knew? Favorite podcast that we ever did was Brad Culp. The way that NTK took him to task for what he did to Danielle Dingman, who we had interviewed in the previous podcast, phenomenal. We'll link that one below. It's been called the best triathlon podcast in, of 2017 by a couple of people. Favorite cartoon, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Favorite Swift Room, Help Do Swift. Favorite book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Changed my life in my mid-twenties. <laughs> This is home, literally walking distance from the airport. Last question, what motivates me in life, not triathlon? Well, it's the same thing. Being a little bit better every day than I was the day before. Progress is what does it. New things, new exciting things. Be a little bit more awesome. So we're gonna try and be a little bit more awesome in this race. All right, Traniacs, after 43 hours of flying, I think it's time for a nap. If you aren't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button below to follow along to this year's 2018 Half Ironman World Championships in Port Elizabeth. And if you are subscribed, you're as cool to me as that bed is right now. Yeah. Oh.